hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy now let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that if the resultant force of the two tug boards is 3 kN, right so the resultant magnitude is given and it is said that the resultant is directed along the positive x axis it is said that determine the required magnitude of force fb and its direction theta right so we have to find the magnitude of this fb and this theta right so this is required and if a magnitude is given and the resultant magnitude is given and it is also said that the resultant is directed along the positive x axis right so this means that the resultant is making zero degrees with the positive x axis right so again uh, i will draw the free body diagram right so let's see that this is f a f a four force is given and it is making 30 degrees with the x axis right so let's say that this is the horizontal right so f a is making 30 degrees and f a magnitude is 2 kN, right so let's say that this is 2 kN force right and we are required to find this f b if the resultant is directed along the x axis is right so if this is f b let's say if this is f b right its magnitude is unknown we are required to find and also it is given that this fb is making theta angle with the horizontal right so this is given right so the resultant will be from the tail of fa to the head of fb right by using the head to tail rule right so this will be the resultant so let's say that this red vector is the resultant so let's say that this is r right and this is fa right so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta and similarly in the problem statement the resultant magnitude is given right so this means that this resultant is equal to 3 kN, right so now as we can see that we can find this fb by using the cosine's law since fa and the resultant magnitude and the included angle is known right so we can write that fb by using cosine's law fb square equals to fa square which is 2 kN. so we will write 2 square plus r square which is 3 square minus 2 into 2 into 3 cos of the included angle of f a and r right so this is 30 degrees so we will write cos of 30 degrees and again if you want to find f b so we have to take the square root so if we take the square root so then it will give us the magnitude of the f b force right so f b force comes out to be 1.615 kilonewton right and since we are required to find this theta so we can find this theta by using the sine's law so if i apply the sine's law so we can write that sine theta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is f a right so f a which is 2 kilonewton and this will be equal to sine of 30 divided by f b magnitude right so f b magnitude is now known which is 1.615 so i will write 1.615 so from this we can write that sine of theta equals to 2 sine 30 divided by 1.615 uh, we can take sine inverse so then this will be sine inverse and from this theta equals to 38.26 degrees right so the if b if b magnitude is 1.615 and if it is making 38.26 degrees with the positive x axis is in the clockwise direction so then the resultant of f a and f b will be directed along the positive x axis is right and its magnitude will be 3 kN. now let's solve this problem 230 in this problem it is said that the fb magnitude is now given right which is 3 kN, right so this fb magnitude is given this is 3 kN, and it is said that it is making 45 degrees with the positive x axis so we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force of the two tug boards and its direction measured clockwise from the positive x axis right so again we will aid both uh, fa and fb in order to get the resultant right so we will apply the head to tail rule again so let me draw the free body diagram so let's say that this is my positive x and y axis let's say this is positive x and y axis so we will draw f a so the f a magnitude is 2 kN and it is making 30 degrees with the horizontal right so let's say this is f a 
and fa magnitude is 2 kilo newton and similarly we have fb which is 3 kilo newton and it is making 45 degrees right so let's say that this is fb and if i draw a horizontal line here so then this fb which is equal to 3 kilo newton it is making 45 degrees right it is given right the, this angle is 45 degrees so then the resultant will be from the tail of fa to the head of fb right so this will be the resultant right so let's say that this is the resultant and we are required to find the magnitude of the resultant and the angle of the resultant with the positive x axis and that angle need to be measured clockwise right so we have to find this angle right this theta let's say and it is also said that uh, this angle is 30 degrees right so we can write that this angle is 30 degrees so if we draw this horizontal line so if this angle is 30 degrees then this angle is also 30 degrees right so now let's say that this angle is beta so we can find this beta angle we can write that 30 plus beta plus 45 degrees this is equal to 180 degrees right since these three angles are supplementary angles so from this we can write we can find beta so it will be equal to 180 degrees minus 45 minus 30 degrees so this comes out to be 105 degrees right so now we know the included angle between fa and fb right so this this angle is 105 degrees right so the fa magnitude is known fb magnitude is known and we are required to find this r magnitude so we can apply the cosine's law the included angle between both of these is now known right so we can write that r square will be equal to fa square so fa magnitude is 2 plus fb square so it is 3 minus 2 into fa into fb cos of 105 degrees and if we take the square root so then we will be able to find the resultant magnitude so the resultant magnitude comes out to be 4.01 kilo newton and since we are required to find this theta so if we find this angle let's say that this angle so this angle is let's say alpha and from here we can see that alpha is equal to 30 plus theta right so again uh, we can apply sine's law so if i apply sine's law right so i can write that sine of alpha let me write it like this so sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side right so the opposite side is this one this fb right so we can write divided by fb which is 3 kilonewton right so this will be equal to uh, sine of 105 degrees sine of 105 degrees divided by the magnitude of the resultant which is now known right so this is 4.01 now so we can write that sine of alpha equals to or we can write that sine of alpha equals to 3 into sine of 105 divided by 4.01 and similarly we can find alpha by taking sine inverse right so this will be sine inverse 3 sine 105 degrees divided by 4.01 so from this alpha equals to 46.42 degrees right and since we know that alpha equals to 30 plus theta right so we can write that this is 30 plus theta equals to 46.42 so now we are required to find this theta then theta is equal to 46.42 minus 30 degrees right so this will be equal to 16.42 degrees right so the resultant magnitude is 4.01 kilonewton and it is making 16.42 degrees and this angle is measured in the clockwise direction right okay let's continue with this problem right so again in this problem 231 it is said that if the resultant force of the two tugboats is required to be directed towards the positive x-axis and fb is to be minimum this is very important right so fb is to be kept uh, minimum we need to determine the magnitude of the resultant force and fb right and and this angle theta so now let's say that this is our 
positive x and y axis is right let's say this is my positive x and positive y axis is and let's say that fa which is making 30 degrees with the horizontal right which is 2 kilo newton right so let's say that this is that fa right so it is said that f fb is to be minimum right and the resultant is acting along the x axis right so let's say that this is our resultant right the resultant need to be acting along the positive x axis right so in so by head to tail rule this resultant should be equal to the sum of fa and fb right by head to tail rule right so if let's say let's say that this is fb and fb should start from the head of fa and should end on the head of the resultant right and this resultant should be acting in the positive x direction right so as we can see that if we want to minimize this fb right if if this is the case right so then this is fb but this fb is not minimum right as we can see that if i move the head of this fb along this x axis is right so as we can see that if i move this fb in this direction so there will be a point at which this fb the the length of this fb will be minimum right and if i move this fb further so then again the length of this fb increases right so at a point where the magnitude of fb will be minimum at that particular point the fb vector will be making 90 degree with the resultant right so then we can say that the resultant will be this vector right from the tail of fa to the head of fb right if fb is minimum the requirement is that the angle between fb and r should be equal to 90 degree right so now the magnitude of fa is given which is 2 kilo newton right and it is making 30 degrees right so now we can find the magnitude of this fb so as we can see that this is a right triangle right right angle triangle so then fb will be equal to uh, this will be the cost component of fa its magnitude will be the cost component of fa right so we can write that fb magnitude will be equal to fa cos of 30 degrees and similarly the resultant magnitude or we can say that fr the fr magnitude will be equal to this will be fa uh, oh, sorry this will be the sine component right we can write that this is the sine component and this one will be the cos component right so we can write that this is fa cos of 30 degrees and since fa is 2 kN so we can write that this is 2 sine of 30 degrees so 2 sine of 30 degrees is 1 kN right and similarly this will be 2 cos of 30 degrees so let cal let me calculate it so 2 cos of 30 degrees so this is under the root square root 3 so it is 1.732 so we can write that the resultant magnitude is 1.732 kilo newton if fb is minimum right and that fb minimum fb is 1 kilo newton right so this is the solution of all these three problems related to this similar figure right